So it turns out that recommendation letters are still more important than ever for kids looking to get into a competitive school. And we have Linda Morgan, our parent expert and author, joining us to talk about these rec letters because really that's the right way to do it too. We've been talking about headlines but of the wrong ways to get into school. This can be manipulated too, right, one. Linda? Right? I mean, if, you know, you tell your PE teacher versus your it's chemistry <laughs> teacher and you go over it six <laughs> times, right? It's harder to do that because you really don't have access to the letters. Sometimes teachers will let students see them, but typically they don't. But recommendation letters have become more important uh, because really these colleges get so many applications and they start to look the same after a while. I mean, even you know, with grade inflation and everything uh, going on like that. So they, what they do is they can put the student in a context of their classroom and their school. And it's something different that's, that, than that is on the rest of the application, which is mainly quantitative other than the essay. Mm -hmm. Now, not all colleges require um, a recommendation letter. For example, the University of Washington doesn't. Public universities typically don't, but private colleges do. And they usually ask for two from teachers and one from a counselor. And occasionally, uh, a student can get one extra one. Uh, the colleges differ on this from somebody like a, a coach mm -hmm. or a music teacher. How do you make sure that the teacher is giving a recommendation letter that you would want your... Well, this is... <laughs> <laughs> That's the million this dollar question. A million, it absolutely is. And what we tell students is to really be careful about who they approach. First of all, approach them in person. So a student should not do this over email right. or text. Um, a student should do this in person. And then a student should think about who they want to write the recommendation letter. And sometimes the kids will go for the popular teacher or the outgoing one or the charismatic one or even the one who maybe they think the person's a good writer. But really think about who thinks a lot of you as a student? Mm -hmm. What classes have you done well in? And have you excelled in? Have you shown energy and enthusiasm, maybe been a leader? That's who you go to. And then the other thing is the way to ask. And this is where students really, some of them are shy. This is not the time to be shy. It's the time to be respectful and assertive and actually say to a teacher, can you write me a strong, positive letter? It's okay to do that. And you, what you hopefully hear is, sure I can, uh, happy to do it. If the, if the teacher hesitates or you hear something like, you know, I, I have a lot on my plate right now, I'm really busy, then walk the other way because the right. last, mm -hmm. find somebody else. The last thing you want is a so-so bland letter. You want somebody who's really in your corner. You want that to really show up in the way it's written. And you gotta trust them that they're, right, that they are gonna take it and really run with it and give you a passionate recommendation. So let me, yes. let's say I have approached a teacher and I have a good teacher that I like. You mentioned a coach. Who might be another adult? Would it, would it be wise to get it from another teenager? What, what would be no, your next No, no, no. They, they really want, they really ask specifically who they want the recommendations letter, gotcha. letters from. So typically it's from two teachers and a counselor, and occasionally from somebody who sees that student uh, in another arena, such as a music teacher or a gotcha. dance teacher or a coach, something like that. But also what, what's really helpful is for the students to supply these teachers or counselors with information. And usually they want that because these teachers are very busy. They're writing a lot of letters and it's helpful for them to get some information such as a resume mm -hmm. or a list of activities or even a paragraph detailing why you like their class, maybe what you've done that makes you stand out. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've organized a study group that shows leadership. Um, you know, maybe you helped other students that shows compassion. <laughs> sure. You know, think strategically. One more question. Yes. Um, should there be any buzzwords? Because I think about when people apply for jobs and resumes, they're you know trying to use all these buzzwords to get the job. Would there be any buzzwords that might set off um, an admissions counselor? Well, any well, people, admissions counselors love leadership. They love intellectual curiosity. Um, they like innovators. Uh, they like people to take risks. They like to hear about kids who have overcome challenges. So one of the things that these teacher recs can do is sometimes the teacher uh, can explain a glitch in the application. Maybe the, the student has gotten a bad grade mm -hmm. and maybe there's a reason for that so that teacher can explain it. And then maybe that student has come out on top. Uh, and, and that's helpful, and hopefully that'll help the students. Yeah, and that will translate to success in college. Exactly. All, works. all right, Linda Morgan, thanks so much for uh, Thank being with us, and we'll hope to have you back again soon. Thanks for having me.